Hey guys, Chris Elliott over the Elliott Real Estate team with another Frequently Asked Friday. So a question that we're getting a lot these days with low inventory and, and, and just being in a crazy seller's market is how to win a multiple offer situation. Uh, we recently had a client that beat out 26 other offers on a property, uh, which was kind of cool. She was super happy to get the property. Uh, but there's really three things that we find um, you know, tend to be effective uh, in that strategy. And I'll, I'll even back up and say, uh, one of the best things that you can do is call the listing agent or have your agent call the listing agent and really find out what's important to that seller. Everybody's got a hot button and it's, it's not always just more money. Uh, sometimes it's favorable terms, sometimes it's ease of transaction. Um, you know, you really gotta separate yourself and find out what's important to them and not think about what's important to you. But uh, the three kind of tactics that we found most successful, escalation clauses, essentially when you say, hey, I'm gonna pay you X, but if you have another offer, I'm willing to beat it out by a certain amount of money uh, with a threshold of, or with a cap of, you know, Y. So in other words, if the property's list for 300,000, you say, I'm gonna offer you 300,000, uh, but I'm willing to beat out any other prospective buyer that you have by $1,000 up to 325, meaning I'm not gonna go north of 325. So that's strategy number one. Strategy number two is an appraisal guarantee. So essentially what that looks like um, is, hey, if we bid the property up and for whatever reason it doesn't appraise and the bank's only willing to lend a certain amount, so for example, take that $300,000 property, we bid it up to 325, but then the bank comes in and says it's only worth, or they're only gonna lend on a value of 320, you can put in a guarantee of, hey, I'm gonna make up whatever deficiency is in that appraised amount up to a certain amount of cash. So for example, I'm gonna make up $5,000 in cash. If the appraisal comes in short, I'm willing to cover the difference up to $5,000 in cash out of pocket. Uh, so that's, that's kind of tactic number two. Tactic number three is an inspection threshold. Uh, so essentially what that looks like is you say, hey, I'm gonna do a home inspection, but once we get that list of defects back with the estimated cost to cure, which is just the home inspector's estimates of what it would cost to actually fix what they you know, notated was wrong with the house, anything under a certain amount, we're just gonna waive that. We can't even request you to fix that or, or we can't request credits related to that. So oftentimes we'll either do a $500 or a $1,000 waiver, so, uh, or threshold rather. So if you come in, you inspect the property and they find an item that's a $350 fix, that just falls by the wayside. We agree up front, we're not even gonna ask for that. But if any big ticket items come up, you know, something that's $1,500, $2,000, whatever the number is above your threshold, then that enters into a place where you can negotiate that and if they're not willing to fix that, you can back out of the deal. So what we're finding in the environment that we're in, we're having to stack all three up. Um, I hope that makes sense. See you on the next video.